Jamaica could be a step closer to establishing a fixed election date. Prime Minister Andrew Holness explains that the move is necessary to eliminate the uncertainty that exists in the business community when elections are imminent. A fixed election date was a promise made by Mr. Holness while on the campaign trail. Speaking during his contribution to the budget debate on Tuesday in Parliament, the Prime Minister said he has instructed Justice Minister Delroy Truck to commence the necessary election legislative work. Notwithstanding these exceptional circumstances, if we are serious about fiscal discipline and obeying our own fiscal rules, elections can no longer be allowed to supervene the fiscal cycle. Neither should the country be disrupted by protracted periods of uncertainty mobilizing, demobilizing, and then mobilizing again according to political expediency. This comes at a significant cost to businesses and delays the growth agenda. The experience underscores the reason why Jamaica must move to a fixed election date. To this end, I have given instructions to the Minister of Justice to table a ministry paper and draft legislation for the fixing of elections. According to Mr. Holness, a fixed election date is critical to the country's growth agenda. He says the decision should not be seen as a political move. The Minister presented me with the green paper today. He will table it at a future date in Parliament and we have started drafting legislation for a fixed election. It's true. Mr. Speaker, a critical plank of the growth agenda is to reduce the uncertainty of government action, reduce the time for decisions, flatten the hierarchical structures and speed up the bureaucratic processes. This will reduce political risk and government-related risks in investments, thereby making Jamaica a more competitive environment. A fixed election date is not merely a political initiative, it is more so a competitive initiative.